Welcome back everyone to the libgdx development tutorials. In today's video, we'll be discussing scene 2D UI. So here we are at the main page of the libgdx docs. I will have a link in the description towards this page. Uh, if we scroll down, we can see that the scene 2D and then we click on the scene 2D UI and it will bring us to the documents of the scene 2D UI um, scene graph. As you can see, it is the libgdx scene graph which is scene 2D. But the main thing we're gonna focus on is the setting up of layout. We're gonna be discussing the stage, table, and components that add towards the table toward to render for the stage. UI package, and we open the scene UI. We can see that we already defined the skin object. Um, I will have a video um, going over that right now if you wanna learn how to create your own skin for your own UI. And we also see that we already defined stage. So on what we need to do is define some actors for the stage. So the first actor that we're gonna be defining is table. So we can create a table by doing simply table, uh, table equals new table. So just itself, if we click on this, we can see it brings up the first constructor. The second constructor takes in a skin if you would like your table to have a texture in the background and the first thing that we need to do is do table dot set fill parent equal to true so if we click on this we can see that the fill parent fills the entire layout of the table so by setting this fill it will stretch the table to its most bounds the next part is we want to set the stage in order to add the table to the stage we do stage to add actor and then we hit table and then this right here will add the table to our stage. We define a new button by creating button equals new button and passing the skin object as the parameter. Then we call a special method for table, which is add, which will add the component to the table within the first cell. Next method is the expand. So the expand is for expanding the cell that the component is within. So in order for us to position a component in the table, we actually have to expand it. So we can call this just like so. And if we see the expand method, a couple types to expand, we can expand on the both X and Y axis. The next method types are the positioning. So we have here set to center. So if we take a look, there is top, left row fills the X and Y. Again, you can choose to grow X or grow Y or width and height to set the dimensions of your component that's added to the table. Grow can look something like this if it's expanded all the way for the cell and filled all the way for the X and Y. If you have two buttons side by side like this, you can use dot pad at the end to pad between the two components. But the only difference is pad adds up while space does not add up. All right, everyone, that wraps up everything in today's video. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you consider more using these features for your table in your own projects. Have a good one, everyone.